Crows share a pie. Crows share a pie. One delightfully sunny day, a large cloud flew over Miss, Mr. Mrs. McNutt's house. Looking down, he spotted a big freshly baked pie cooling on the window sill. Because pie was about his favorite things in the world, he stood. See, he swooped down for a closer look. As the crowd glided by, he could tell that nobody was home. He safely landed on the windsill and eyed the wonderful smelling pie. The crow became especially excited to see that it was a cherry pie. I bought a delicious cherry pie, my favorite, he said, and it's all mine. Just as he was about to take the first bite, the second crow flapped down and landed on the window sill with a thump. That's a mightily big and tasty looking pie, he scoffed. You intended to eat it all by yourself, do you? Well, I was sure thinking I would, answered the first crow, since I found it first. It's all mine. Don't be so selfish, replied the second crow. You can certainly see that there's enough pie for two hungry crows. Besides, you'll feel far better sharing the pie than you will get a tummy ache from eating the entire thing. So how about giving some of it to me? The first crow took a few moments to think. I suppose I could share it with you. After all, it is a very large pie. How do you propose to divide it? He asked. Just let's just split it down the middle. Offer the second crow. Best way to get one half, and I get the other half. It's fair if we each get equal halves of the pie, isn't it? I suppose to. <clears throat> I suppose to. Said the first crow. The crow sliced the pie in half just as he finished cutting. Two more crows landed with a flutter of black wings. That they stared at the pie with the bright, greedy eyes. How about offering some of their tasty looking pie, pie to us? Said. They begged. The first and second crowd glanced to each other, wondering whether or not they could bear to give away some of the pie. They finally agreed that sharing was a good thing, so they decided to split the pie with the other two crows. How do we cut the pie now? Asked the first crow. The second crow, being the smaller of the two, suggested dividing each of the halves down the middle. Cut each half into two. Two pieces will make for equal four equal slices. Each of you will have one fourth of the pie," she said. "Brilliant idea," said the first crow. And he cut the two halves into half, making four thirds. There, we've got four equal pieces. Let's everyone should be happy. Let's eat. But before the first crow. First four crows would take even one by the pond. One more crow sailed down and perched on a ledge beside them. They stared hungrily at the pie. How about being generous and sharing that lovely pie with some poor hungry crows? They pleaded. There was a bunch of squawking and cawing among the four first four crows, but they too agreed that sharing was a good thing, and they decided to give up. Portion of the pie for the four other hungry crowds. Now, what are we going to do to make sure everyone gets an equal pieces? Asked the first crow. The second crow declared, "No problem. We just make eight equal pieces by cutting each of the portions of in half. That will mean we each get one eighth of the pie. That's the fairest way to do it, and everyone should be happy." Sounds good to us," shouted all the crowds. "Now let's hurry and eat our pieces of the pie before we have to spill, split them into even smaller fractions." Each hungry crowd gobbled down of one eighth of the pie, and they all flew in a search of more.